Kiri. We're all checked in and unpacked at Cedar Grove, and now we're just on our way to downtown Huntsville to get some dinner. Hitting up this little Italian restaurant tonight. Sounds like it's gonna be really good. This was Carson, our waiter for the night, and he was excellent. And here he's making us this gin and tonic with like a cucumber tonic water, which sounds super good. There is magic in these in-between spaces. <laughs> it's more of a lazy boy. You a happy boy? Mm-hmm. Got a rock and fire going? Mm-hmm. Got the game on? Got the Leafs game going? Good morning. Breakfast is really good. We're all fueled up for the day and we're now just pulling into Arrowhead Provincial Park. We have a Nordic ski lesson and then after that we're gonna go skating on the ice trail. Where are these little suckies? That's why it's so tight. <laughs> oh my god. I was like what the heck is in there? underneath our bum, roll forward. Downhill? Going up. Going up the hill. Yeah. yeah. So pop up to the knees. Make sure you're comfortable. Yeah, very good. But usually on right the up, flat right? you can do that faster, so. Yeah. No. 
<laughs> Ooh, very well done, Brandon. That was a nice little corner I did. Whoop, tip for that. Oh! <laughs> I was looking at you. I know. <laughs> That's like me on the snowboard when you'd go by. So we did our Nordic ski lesson with Michelle and it was really fun. She did a she did a really good job of assessing our skill level and not babying us. So she pushed us, which is great. And uh yeah. She said we did pretty good. Yeah, I think we did okay. Yeah. Kind of like baby deer. Yeah, <laughs> slightly like baby deer on ice. Yeah. So we're still here at Arrowhead Provincial Park and we're now going to try out the ice skating trail which is uh quite famous here in Ontario and I've always wanted to try it and I never have got the opportunity yet, so yeah. 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 And skating's our thing. Yeah, a little so. more. Yeah. Alright, this is a little more our pace. <laughs> Just the smallest one. Okay. You can try the sandwich if you want to take a couple bites. It's a lot sure. It's pretty good too. Yeah. That's good. That looks really good. You good? Yeah. Is that the one with pork French? Yeah. Good though. Okay, so we got our snowshoes on. We're pretty much ready to go. We have our good friend Nate joining us this morning. He knows Limberlost Forest quite well. So he suggested that we take Buck Lake Trail, which is what we're gonna do. And you can find Nate on Instagram as Nate Muskoka. So I think we have a couple kilometers to go and there's a beautiful cabin on the way. So I'm excited. Promise not to move, okay? 
I'm not sure if that was a dirty <laughs> trick or... Pizza at Henrietta's Bakery. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's gonna be. Oh, okay, here we go. Hmm. Well, considering how rare snow is this year. <laughs> no kidding, eh? Yeah. It's been a frustrating year for lots of outdoors people. My name's Brad. I'm gonna be taking you guys out this afternoon. Um, what we're gonna do is uh, send everybody out in groups of two. Halfway through the tour, we're gonna stop, have a little hot chocolate break on the trail. Um, have some uh, snacks as well. There's a chance there for you guys to visit with the dogs, ask questions, take photos, all that kind of thing. We're going to be on our break for 70% of the ride. Use your right hand to help support yourself and you can actually pull up slightly on the other side too. Because you've got your weight on that runner holding it down, you can pull up a little bit while you're pushing here and then you can move your foot around without having to move your body side to side to balance yourself. A 50 pound dog can move 10 times its weight so they can move 500 pounds by themselves. Six of them can move 3,000 pounds. An Alaskan Husky sled dog hits its top speed at the end of its second stride. So by the time they finish their second stride, they've already got the sled going at 30 kilometers an hour if they want to. So on the downhills, that's where things can get out of control quickly and they can get dangerous quickly. So we want to make sure we're keeping it nice and slow on the downhills. We want it fast walk, slow jog, never faster. We want to make sure we're keeping the control. We're going to use as much brake as we have to to gain that control. So if you have to be two feet on the brake, use two feet on the brake. Mm. And chocolatey. Mm -hmm. Alright, want a better snack? <laughs> I'm always snacking. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna do what the nice man told me to do and dip it in my chocolate. <laughs> Just be careful, it does make for mushy oatmeal in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I won't cover that. Mm. Highly recommend. When we're out here at minus 30, dipping them it really makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Hey, <laughs> it was just chaos, exactly what I was thinking. Dog sledding is an incredible experience that everyone should have on their bucket list. The connection you make with your team of dogs is nothing like you've ever experienced before. Seamlessly traveling through some of the most beautiful wintry landscape. It's something I wish I could elegantly put into words, but I can't. Something you'll never understand until you do it yourself. It's just you and your team working together. That's it. Thank you Brad and Leah for an epic dog sled tour. Thank mm -hmm. you.
What just happened? Uh, six red lights in a row. We got into this, like, <laughs> quantum zone and <laughs> black hole, and we just hit every light. Every light. It's red. No every single one. Thank you, downtown Huntsville. So we are headed to the mill on Main to have some dinner tonight, and it is... This is our first green in, like, seven lights. Oh, my gosh. And it's still <laughs> green? <gasps> wow. That was amazing. Oh, oh you, you tried to get us. You... Not today. <laughs> Not today. Where are we going? Um, right Not there. Alright, we just finished some excellent food at the Mill on Main. And now we're going to walk just across the street because the Banff Film Festival is happening here at the Algonquin Theater in Huntsville. And it was Algonquin Outfitters that put this all together. So we were able to get some tickets. Thank you, Nate. And we're going to go enjoy the show. Holiday. They're not exactly looking for R and R. This next film is called A Baffin Vacation. Ever wondered what to do for your vacation? Why not consider taking your sweethearts to Baffin Island? It's surrounded by nothing. Literally nothing, just ocean. With a land mass larger than California and a population of just 10,000, you'll be sure to have the beaches all to yourself. Tourist activities include kayaking, climbing mountain faces, and of course, you won't want to miss the stunning weather. No front derailleur. Okay. So there's only gears on the back. Uh, so your shifting is just on the right side. Um, with your thumb, you'll go into easier gears for going uphill, and then with your index finger, you'll pull back and go into harder gears if you want to go faster on downhills and such. Okay. Uh, the seats are adjustable with a quick release, so we can get those all set up for you. Uh, front brake, back brake. Um, just like any bike, the important thing is to just pull them both in unison and not to just... just yeah, don't slam the front, front brakes. brakes. Yeah. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. The nice thing about fat biking though is if you do fall off, which happens all the time because it's slippery, it's soft snow and it just hurts your ego more than anything. Yeah. 